Hi and welcome to this new video on this series of uh, basic robotics theory. So in this video I'm going to introduce you into the concept of robot navigation. Why do we need it and how does it work more or less? And we'll see a very simple example on how to do a map of an environment. So first of all, why do we need navigation? Well, it's very simple. Most of the mobile robots need to move around and they need to not collide t with obstacles. They have to avoid them and be able to go from point A to point B. Very simple. Uh, it seems really simple, but the problem is that uh, if I move the robot, if I move this robot, how do I really know that I've moved uh, one meter? How do I know where I, where am I really? Because it's not enough by counting the times I spin the we the wheels and then calculate the distance because the wheels uh, have error, the odometry has error, and therefore in in a few meters the robot won't know where it is. So we need navigation systems to be able to know where we are yeah so uh, what's the first step to to do navigation well the first step to do navigation is building a map if we build a map uh, based on the odometry and based on lasers and so on it's a very good starting point to then navigate around an environment Okay? It's not the only way, and maybe it's not the best way for you, but normally this is the standard way of doing it. So let me show you. So here we have our beloved butter robot, and what I'm going to do is start this script, which is uh, gmapping. So gmapping is the first step to um, to be able to do navigation because we are going to build a map okay uh, so let's let's start it so as you can see here in our viz now it has appeared a map with some points here so let me show you there so these red lines are the laser let me just there you go the laser so the laser I've installed one here this is this white box and it more or less has a 90 degrees from one side and another so 180 degrees more or less and you can see that it's detecting this box and this one and it's also detecting the person it's not detecting the cup because the cup is too low for example and the butter also maybe it's detecting it yeah so with this and then moving around so now i fire up my teleop and then i move the rover around And there you go so now we have we are building our map as you can see it's compensating for the the errors in localization and he's trying to localize itself to know where it is and therefore build the map with that there you go so if we have a look more or less you can see that the map that that it has already is really good because we can see the person here and the boxes and the only thing is dedicating more time to build our map
it doesn't have any secret really and then when we want to save the map then we execute that command which i have it around here and there you go so now i have these maps here which i can have a have a look let me have a look here there you go so let me download it open there you go so now we have our very small map but very detailed on the the elements that we have here and also some information so extra information here oh, sorry there we go so that i mentioned so it's really big i could have done a much smaller map but the thing is when i edit this map i can then paint the the places where i want it not to go in black and the free ones in white and that's it now i'll have a map so what would be this next step so to i won't go into details but uh, if if you go to um, if you go to the courses uh, there's this navigation one in five days which we have here and basically this starts with map creation and then we go on to the the navigation so how to use the map to move around and after that we we can do anything we want really so there you go so in this course you will learn the basic concepts but also how to localize the robot and how to do path planning so how do i go to point a from point a to point b there are many strategies you can you have to adapt for example if it appears a new obstacle in the in the middle then hey um, i have to avoid it this kind of stuff so i highly recommend this this course it helped me a lot just to do this tiny demo of the mapping so i really did it really fast and that's it so thanks a lot for staying at the, until the end and seeing you in the next video peace